Hey all, Nonal here. Okay so in the third part of this Gmod animation guide, I will be giving some additional tips on what else you can do in Gmod to make your animations better, mostly using some more add-ons which are all linked below. Alright, let's get started. Lighting can be a great way to enhance your animation in Gmod, especially during more serious moments. It's also important in order to make sure a scene isn't too dark. Go over to lamps in the construction section. This allows you to place down lamps, which create light obviously. There are multiple things you can do with lamps within the lamp menu. Toggling the FOV slider will change how large the light coming out of the lamp is. Toggling the distance slider will change how far the light travels. And toggling the brightness slider changes the brightness of the camera. I probably should have mentioned this in an earlier part, but if you want to get more precise with the Gmod togglers more easily, bring your mouse over the name of the toggler and hold left click, which will bring up a more precise way of sliding the toggler. Further down in this menu you can change the color of the lamp. Going further down will allow you to change what type of light the camera emits. There is a harder and softer light, there is a square shaped light, and then there are some cool effects as well. At the bottom of this menu is the option to change the model of the lamp. You can turn lamps on and off by pressing the button set here. Right clicking the lamp and going to edit properties will bring up this menu. Here you can turn off a lamp individually from others, as well as toggle its attributes after placing it down. If you disable a lamp this way and press the key that turns lamps off, this will actually turn the lamp you just disabled back on. This way you can turn the disable key into a way of switching between two different sets of lamps. Lastly, you probably don't want a lamp to be visible when you record your animations. After getting the more materials add-on, go to material after pressing Q and select the first option here. Now simply left click on the lamp and it will be invisible. You'll still be able to see the light source of the lamp so you shouldn't lose where it is. Now in animating with lamps, there is a very important rule to remember. Unless you want the lamp light source to be seen, do not let the lamp's light source be seen in your animation. I have made this mistake a lot of times myself and it just doesn't look good at all. If you want to move your camera during a scene, don't forget that you can animate lamps with the stop motion helper. Also try to avoid making the lighting too bright. While I'm on this topic, don't forget that you can activate a flashlight with F, which can be useful if something is a bit too dark to see as then you don't have to go through the trouble of getting a lamp out. Thank you for watching. In the next part I will go over some additional stuff you can do with a bunch of atoms as well as giving some more general tips for using Gmod.